Hello everyone, it's Fred again from Notes of a Nomad, video number 118. And the topic today is growing old. Recently, I listened to a fella talk about he is growing old. It's a fellow I know in Mauritius and he's very accomplished in his career, but he turns 60 soon. And he's saying, wow, I don't feel 60. I don't feel old but I guess I am. And he's concerned what's gonna to happen to him because he remembers when he was young and he saw people who were 60 and they were old. So I've tried to share some of my experiences with him. And there is a recent book that was written by a social scientist by the name of Arthur C. Brooks. It's called Strength to Strength. And he pointed out a couple of things that there's two groups of people as they age. One is happier than they were previously, and the other is not as happy. Those who are not as happy are still have those aspirations and goals that they had when they were young, and they find they cannot do what they were able to do and accomplish what they're able to accomplish when they're younger. So the objective is to change those goals, to work on the strengths that you have now that you're older. And the strengths that you have often are, you have more wisdom, which you can share with others. In fact, I think I read recently that the Roman orator Cicero indicated that in your, as you become older and wiser, you should dedicate your time to service of others, pass your wisdom down, mentor, advise others, teach others, some of the things you've learned. And it's not about accomplishing money and power and prestige, but giving back. That is what I believe as well makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to share this video with my friend in Mauritius. And also hopefully some of you might wanna share it with others. And maybe you can work with others as well. It reminds me of my most favorite saying or uh, quote from Forrest Woodcraft, who was many years ago in the Boy Scout movement in the United States. And he said, a hundred years from now, it will not matter what kind of car I drove, what kind of house I lived in, how much money is in my bank account, nor what my clothes look like, but the world may be a better place because I was important in the life of a child. Now that makes a lot of sense to me, but you would say, oh, I, I don't work with children, but you could work with other elderly people and say, hey, you're not happy, but hey, there's a fun formula. Let's work on this together. Whatever it is, that I think is the secret as uh, Arthur Brooks mentioned in his book, as the Roman orator Cicero stated, I believe that is the secret to having a great life and it could probably be the best time of your life. So with that, I'll say adios, au revoir, wishing you, your family and friends, lots of love and laughter. Bye for now from Fred and Notes of a Nomad.